Hey there, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So this is the lesson 17 and the final lesson of the Corporate Explainer Animation course. And in this lesson, we will learn how to create this hand signature animation in After Effects. And if you have missed the previous lessons of this course, then you can check it out from the playlist link that is provided in the description. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we are using throughout this course from our website that is also linked in the description and also in the pinned comment section. So that being said, without any further delay, let's dive right into Adobe After Effects and let's get started with signature animation. Okay, we are in After Effects and we will start from where we have left in lesson 16. So here we are inside the main composition and we will start the signature animation just after everything settles down and uh, the entire infographics text is uh, visible. So from somewhere around here. Now first we will design the signature with the pen tool. So let's get inside frame number 4. And let's pick the pen tool and let's design a shape of a signature. So first I would like to decrease the stroke width to 7 and let's draw the signature shape. And then once the signature is properly designed, go to properties and I would like to change the line cap to rounded cap. And let's change the color of this stroke to a darker shade. And I would also like to add a dot over here after the signature. So for that we can simply use the ellipse tool. Let's pick a fill color same as the stroke color and let's cancel the stroke. And let's design a circle over here. And let's name the layers. Let's select the signature layer and add trim paths. Then let's animate the end property. Let's add keyframe. Now let's jump on to next 36 frames. And let's add a keyframe. At the start, we will just decrease the end property to 0%. And select the keyframes and just easy is the keyframes. And this is how it looks. Now let's animate the hand that is drawing this signature. So here we have two hand layers. Let's unlock the layers and first we will animate this layer. Also make sure that the continuous rasterize for this pre-comp is on. So let's bring the playhead somewhere around here. Let's get inside the hand one composition. And then let's select all the hand layers except the forum layer and let's pre-comp it together as hand one. Again just turn on the continuous rasterize and let's move the anchor point exactly at the overlap of hand and the forearm. So the forearm is actually cropped from here. We can fix it very easily. We just have to convert this illustration layer into a shape layer. Go to create, create shape from vector layer. Let's delete this illustration layer. Let's name this as forearm. Inside groups, we will just delete the group one and the march path. That's it. Now we have the shape with a proper layer guide. Let's move the anchor point of this forum somewhere around here and let's parent hand with the forum. Now let's open the rotation property and add keyframe and let's open the position property and add keyframe. Press U to open the properties with keyframes. So from here let's jump on to next 15 frames and add keyframes. Let's zoom into the timeline. At the start we will just move this hand outside. Also let's uh, add a rotation keyframe on the hand as well. So at the start we will also rotate this hand in the opposite direction. And maybe a little bit of position movement as well. So we will just put the hand exactly from where the signature animation is starting from this particular point. And also let's move the hand layers and place it above the signature. So let's log this composition window. Let's get inside hand one so that we can preview both the composition at the same time. And from here let's jump on to next six frames and add keyframes. And we will just uh, rotate the hand by a few degree in the opposite direction. So I'm just adding a little bit of overshoot. 
so one degree of rotation on the forearm layer one degree of rotation on the hand layer or maybe two degree easy is the keyframe now let's select these two position keyframes and i will just adjust the position of this particular hand i think it's too fast so we can slow it down a little bit so select all these keyframes and press and hold the alt key and just click and drag outside yeah this one is looking better now from here let's uh, give like three frames of pause let's add keyframes also i would like to add some follow through so we will just select the rotation keyframes and offset it by two frames for the forearm and then for the hand now we will animate the hand drawing the signature or just doing the signature so for that let's get back to frame number four and let's uh, open the shape path property of the signature let's select the shape path property ctrl c to copy this path property now select the forum layer let's select the position property ctrl v paste now you will see that some position keyframes are pasted over here so first we will just select this uh, end keyframes these two linear keyframes we will not touch any of the in between keyframes we will just work with those uh, ending keyframes start and the ending keyframe and just press f9 to easy is the keyframe now let's reposition this keyframe so for that we will select all the keyframes and just select move this layer and properly place the hand from where the signature animation is starting from somewhere around here now after this we will select the signature layers and start the animation from here now let's preview the animation and then let's move the playhead to the second keyframe go to hand composition and select the last keyframe and just place the last keyframe over here that's it let's preview the animation from this frame and it turns out pretty perfect now once the signature animation has been drawn we will also lift the hand a little bit so that we can also animate this dot i mean the hand is actually adding a dot after the signature so after the signature was done somewhere around here let's uh, keep like few frames of pause so let's jump on to next four frames let's add keyframes and from here let's jump on to next 18 frames let's uh, lift the hand for that we can simply uh, rotate it in the opposite direction and also a little rotation of for the hand as well and also let's add keyframe on the position property now let's jump on to next 12 frame and now we will and now we will put the dot with the hand so for that we will rotate it in the opposite direction maybe minus 3 degree and hand to about minus 2 degree so let's select the forum layer and just try to properly position it the position the tip of the pen exactly on the dot let's keep two frames of pause and now let's jump on to next uh, 16 frames let's copy and paste these keyframes and i would further rotate it in the opposite direction i think we need to slow down this particular action a little bit and after this keyframe i will jump on to next 16 frames again and copy and paste the initial keyframes so the hand is going outside the screen now now once this animation is done we will just add some follow through for that we will just select the rotation keyframes and offset it by about two frames and we can now close any of this composition window we don't need two composition window right now
Okay, I feel here we have a jerk. So I think it is around this area. So it generally happens when we have curved motion path in between keyframes. So a best solution to this is we can simply split, select these two layers and split it from here. And what we can do is uh, just open the position property of the forum layer, delete all the keyframes from the start. And for this forum layer, we can simply delete all the position layers from the end. And also we have multiple keyframes here as well. So what we will do is just move the playhead on this particular keyframe and we will just copy and paste the last keyframe over here and just delete this extra keyframes. We don't need it anyway. So now there shouldn't be any jerk. And what I feel like this particular action can be even faster. So let's select this keyframe and just bring it closer. Same with this, same with this as well. And also for this set of keyframes. Okay, after this, we will just move the, move this particular dot layer start where the hand is actually putting the dot. So somewhere around here, let's move the layer start and start the layer from this frame. All right, so now let's animate hand number two. So this is the hand number two. Let's turn on the visibility. Let's get inside the hand. Let's select all the hand layers, except the forum layer pre together and let's name this hand 2. And also the forum layer is also cropped from here. So we can again fix it very easily. Just go to create, create shape from vector layer. After that, let's delete this illustration layer. And now let's move the anchor point somewhere around here. Let's move the anchor point of the hand somewhere around here, exactly at the center of the overlap. Turn on the continuous rasterize parent hand to with the forum layer. Now let's add a keyframe on the rotation property. One keyframe on the position property as well. Press U to open the properties with keyframe. Then from here, let's jump on to next 16 frames and add keyframes. At the start, we will just rotate the hand in the opposite direction. So we, we are just going to move the hand outside the frame. And also let's add a keyframe on the rotation property. So we will even rotate it even further for the hand also at the start of the animation. Let's select this keyframes easy as it. From the second keyframe, let's jump on to next six frames and add keyframes. And here we are just going to rotate it in the opposite direction by a few degree. Same for the hand as well. To add a little bit of overshoot and select the rotation keyframes and offset it by a few frames. That's it. To add a little bit of follow through. I think we can slow it down a bit. So select the keyframe and just extend the keyframes. All right, so this one is looking better. Now, after the signature animation is done, the handles also go outside the frame. So let's uh, start that animation from somewhere around here. Let's add keyframes on all these three properties. From here, let's jump on to next uh, 18 frames. Let's add keyframes. So from here, let's jump on to next six frames. Let's add keyframes. And we will just rotate it in the opposite direction a little bit. Then we will jump on to next 18 frames and let's copy and paste the initial keyframes. And also let's select this keyframe and move it on this particular frame. And again, let's offset the rotation property keyframe to add a little bit of follow through. Okay, so from here, let's get back to frame number four. And let's trim both the hand composition layers uh, from the start to this frame. 
and after that i think both the hands are coming inside the frame together so that shouldn't happen like that so let's bring in the hand to a few frames after the hand one is inside the frame so somewhere around here let's check out the entire animation from here yeah this one is looking better okay one final thing for hand one and hand two we can even add some shadow that is casting on the table so let's duplicate hand two and let's move the anchor point of this hand on the tip of this pane let's rotate it a little bit let's apply fill effect change the color to black and change the blending mode to overlay and the opacity to 30 percent and now let's check out the entire animation from the main composition all right so that was all for this video and also the end of this course so again uh, if you want to use the illustration files and assets that we are using throughout this course you can get it from the link provided in the description go get it and follow along with this course and try to animate this on your own it will also help you in building your own portfolio so that is it and i will see you in another course or in a new video so until then goodbye